You are watching part three in the Art Chemy Project New Year North Star. This magical star guides you into becoming the vibration of your dream for this challenging year. If you want to know more, click the link to video one. This video that you're watching is a continuation of the creative process to, to do your North Star. For the first part of the creative process, the first uh, process video, click the link to video two. All the links are in the description below. Welcome back. I am shading the star to push it forward. Redefining, really, because there are parts that, you know, like here. I may try to erase this a little bit. And now, what I do is that I have these little containers and I'm putting um, liquid matte medium because what I do now is I take um, a detailed um, brush, a fine detailed brush and I dip it into the liquid matte medium because liquid matte medium is very liquidy but it's still glue look what happens wow you know what I'm saying that's a wow and it's a bit more messy than if I do this this is like faster more defined but also more flat you know it's like but this, because I want to separate, create a little bit more of um, oomph and a little bit more of um, texture, you know. So this is a way of shading that's very powerful. You can use a charcoal pencil or an old stabilo pencil. And maybe other water soluble pencils in dark and so what you're doing is that as you 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 draw the lines and then with a matte medium you activate it because it's water soluble but because it's glue the matte medium also stabilizes it may not permanently completely seal it but it will make it not runny right Right, so look at that the star shape like completely came out but in a way that's not uh, very cartoony kind of like you know so these I didn't do with mine but I wanted to experiment with it okay um, I'm I have a lozenge I'm chewing on a loss and so because I've been coughing a lot. Okay, I'm still kind of um, <clears throat> trying to cleanse my upper lungs from all the gum that we accumulate. And, um, you know, it's the last part of recovering from the cold I had in, in Christmas. So, okay. Mm, nice, 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 nice. So now, while this dries, 
what we're gonna do is I have a whole gallon of this one then I keep pouring it into this and then I pour it into this so now we're gonna uh, use gesso um, my favorite gesso brush Now to do this, what I do is I water the gesso because otherwise you cover everything white, right? But I want it to be watering. So it kind of makes it less, um, mutes it a little bit, makes it less prominent, but does not completely obliterate it. <laughs> I don't. So that's what we're doing here. And now, let me try a new. Now we move, we, we moisture, moisten this. And then remove, you know, and we're gonna do this several times. Put watch out, yes, son. Then with a moisten rag or kitchen towel, I mean paper, kitchen towel, whatever. Uh, it, it just it, most of it has stayed, but it, it's it, it's less, you know, it's less like prominent. Again, so we do the same thing here. And you know, they say, oh, oh, oh damn, it was so beautiful white covering because it's not the focal point. It's there as a support actor. <laughs> right. This I might actually leave just like that. So the, the far will be the last one because you can see that it's going to ch change colors. <clears throat> I want to keep the, co the cool colors first and then the warm colors later. Okay, here because I didn't blend them so well in the sense that I didn't, you know, like I didn't do all of like this, this one, most of the same color. This is going to be a little bit um, challenging. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's see how this works. Okay, 
Let me try this now. And we keep doing this until we, the balance of what you want to be visible is, um, is balanced with it not becoming the focal point, being in the background, visible but in the background. Supporting the star, telling, it's like um, telling part of the story of the star, but um, let me do it uh, with the drier rag so not that much comes out. that the water is still too prominent and this too so again and I think I may try something new too here I think this is good this is good but I want to try something new which means that I have to allow this to dry so now I'm using, well, it's a little bit moist, but, you know, I didn't sprinkle it again with water so that more of the gesso would stay. Sometimes you can take a photo because that gives you like another optic. I have a program here and I'm looking at it. Instead of looking at it directly, I'm looking at it through the uh, screen to see, get another perspective. I think it is working, but I'm going to try something else <clears throat> as soon as it dries, all right? So, <coughs> push forward the star, push backwards the than all the other elements. important to um, focus our attention while we're doing in alchemy because attention there's a, a, a twin law of energy and attention which says that energy follows attention so if you want the energy your energy to power you know because that's what power is power is energy <laughs> It's like the electrical power. What is it? It's energy. Right. So therefore, when you focus your attention on, for example, the star on what you're doing or on something, then you are, um, the, all the, uh, your energy goes to that place and you are charging it. You're charging it with energy. Um, and that goes for all of our lives as the, whatever you focus your attention in, during the day, you're nurturing that thought or that emotion or that or that manifestation. Is that I want to do I want to do an experiment now that this is drying on <coughs> going around because this is you know it has too much white from the gesso so I like how it push it back but I don't like 
that I can see a lot of the white of the gesso so I want to do this as an experiment and this is the what is this this is the sepia one okay so this is what I want to do yeah I think it took out a, a, some of the white of them yes so I'm gonna do the red geranium one if I can find it I think it's this one because the thing is that the white gesso is um you know depositing itself in the crevices and it's also making it more patchy yeah so now I'm gonna go exactly any other place that I think is just too freaking white and do it but because I'm putting it everywhere it serves as a pushback too so more the, the I think this is my my theory with this I'm just trying for the first time um, yeah I want to see like the patterns and the color be relevant be still on the story but not the whiting on around the patches I don't like that all right so where's the green here's the green So it's a, a lot around the edges where the white, wherever you see white, use the, the colors of that area. And try to kind of blend it more, but at the same time, get the white out. It might work it might not work we will soon see all right now we're gonna go for turquoise where's the turquoise oh wow for the water because the white has a lot of white some of it is from from you know for me it is the white the white uh, parts the foam and then some of it is from the gesso and I gotta minimize the white from the gesso especially in the medium places and also kind of bringing everything together still some more height I like it still a lot of white here this is okay it has a lot of white actually maybe I could um I don't know I don't have any blue blue
the star represents your essence and your sacred self, you know, who you are as a divine expression, vast with infinite potential, infinite inner treasures, um, a purpose, you know, a life plan of coming here to earth incarnated. It's a, di a divinity incarnated, that's who you are. And, and you came here with a purpose, um, lessons and adventures that you wanted to have in this earth plane, all right? And the compass becomes the, I mean, the heart becomes the compass. The heart is the soul. The soul, the heart is the seat of the soul and the soul and the heart are the compass in this life for you to know where you know what is the best that, um, path to take and the way that it works is that you are a being with the, a heart compass when your heart feels delight a profound delight that feels the heart and fills it with joy you're going in the right direction if the heart starts feeling sad and depressed and your soul feels like it's diminishing, hiding somewhere, you cannot touch it, it's weakening, you're going in the wrong direction. That's why it's your compass, all right? So that's why we're doing this star. And then what you need to do is play, glue the heart and you have step-by-step -step instructions in the handout. Step six is to meditate on the alchemical actions. Um, and then um, step seven is to meditate on the gifts. And once you have it, you um, print, you, you know, type it, print it, whatever you know you want to do, or stamp it, the, the words in the race. Okay, so now we are going into step six and seven. And this is to um, come up with your um, alchemical actions and then with the gifts that you want to receive and give during this year. So at this point, go back to the handout because in the handout, I put a lot of information that is going to give you ideas and guide you through the process of choosing your alchemical actions and also your gifts. Um, uh, in the handout, there is a list of alchemical actions that can give you an idea. You can choose from the list or it can give you an idea of, you know, what is it that you're looking for for alchemical actions. Uh, I have journaling questions for you, you know, to kind of uh, focus and pinpoint the action as well as the gift. All right. And then, Step eight is simply to glue your um, your words into the rays, all right? Congratulations! You have finished up to step eight in the North Star project. If you still need help, then I invite you to join my Archemy Atelier membership. And that means that um, every third 
Tuesday, every third Tuesday at 2 uh, p.m. EST, we get together live online and you can do the project with me. The link for the Art Chemy Atelier membership is below. Okay, so, all right, so it's time for the next steps, the final step. It's time for the blink, blink. I love blink, right? Oh, gold is such a magical color. It's really magical. You know, we have gold in our energy field. That's why we like blink, because we're stars. We also blink. All right. So, let me see what I want to tell you. Because I don't want to forget any of the tips I have here. Okay, so, the first thing is, whatever embellishments you put, keep them subtle. All right? Keep them under control. And, uh, and the person who's saying this to you right now is... A person who loves bright ball colors, all right? So I'm like off the chart with my bright and bold colors, right? So if I'm saying keep it subtle, there's a reason for my madness, and I'll tell you why. Let me show, don't tell, because it's, it's easier that way, right? To see this, if I have put a butterfly with with brighter colors than this it would have competed with the star and then the eye doesn't know where you know that is like here there there it gets bipolar <laughs> right so you don't want that right so what you want is to put bling that complements that brings out the magic of what is already there so you see I have my blink here because it's the fire. So it just becomes part of the fire. And I have a bit of blink over there, a different um, kind of bluish blink so that it just brings like, imagine like the nice stars, right? Like that. But, you know, they're not like, this is the only blink where, this is the only blink that's really on your face because it's the center, because it's the star. And I want you to, this is the, the focal point, the star, right? So you understand what I'm saying? Um, whatever it is, look at it that is blended and harmonized, that it doesn't stick out because then it competes with the star. And then when you're meditating, you're going to be looking at that instead of the star. All right? So that's, that's an important thing for the alchemy. Okay, so now, um, and it's okay if you want to leave the 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 project like this if you don't want to put blink if you don't want to put embellishments you don't have to you don't have to you know to um leave the project at the at the moment where it's beautiful for you where it talks to your heart all right okay that's important also so now if you decide to put embellishments what can you put you know what would be part of the alchemy that's the important thing right because we're doing something intentional. All right, so here are some ideas. Animals that you know are your power or medicine animals, or animals that you want to invoke as an ally for you for the rest of the year, right? Now I have the butterfly because it's one of my power animals. I'm, uh, I'm about transformation through the arts and she's the perfect ally for me the perfect guy because she went from a, a caterpillar that was working undercover you know and just working 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 eating working you know like from from the office to the home and from the home to the office that's our version of human version of caterpillar right and she went into transformation and she allowed that that ordinary um self to die and her magnificent divine self to emerge, right? So that's what I that's what I help people do, right? So perfect, perfect. And so th there's a meaning to that butterfly, okay? So when you're doing an alchemy, an art chemy, uh, an art as alchemy, whatever you put there needs to have emotional meaning or spiritual meaning for you. That's the that's the key. That's the criteria. So an animal that, you know, either you know it's your power or medicine animal, 
or you want to say come here because I like you you know I like what you medicine and you could help me All right now also flowers and leaves and other um, aspects of nature like seashells something like that that also have meaning for you and so that type of thing where do you put them put them in the transitions and what I mean by the transitions are you see this she's very close to the transitional paper the transitions <laughs> it's all it are, are you know from sky to water from sky to earth I can't not you know everything is the contrary to where I am in the video um, here's here's my leaf my leaf is in the transition between earth and fire all right or you could have it in the transition um between water and earth there like you know like here like here i have um also another small leaf right so <laughs> this is madness so it could be here around here where i have this little thing here it could be there, it could be where I have my butterfly, it could be where I have my big leaf or my small leaf, around there in the transitions. Because then the, the, then the transition, you're adding hump to your tra trans transitions, um, you know, and but without being all over the place. Because the transitions are places where the eye is already going from one place to the other right so that the eye so you're helping the eye to to move around the frame you know that frame that collage beautiful collage frame that you did for the star you know and that's okay and then mia and then when you do try to connect it you know to connect it to the direction of the star if you look here you know it's going up so when the eye goes up bang is this the star the the butterfly is flying f off from the star right all right you, you could put it going into the star right so you know what i'm saying like that so that it connects to the star it points to the star it connects to the star okay so that's done okay also you could put uh, meaningful symbols like for example, if I were to put a meaningful symbol, I would put a, a yin yang symbol, the masculine and the feminine, right? Because that means a lot to me since I work with the balance of the feminine and the masculine. Um, another um, meaningful symbol for me is the spiral because the spiral is a, a spiritually a symbol of transformation and growth, right? Um, <clears throat> And I also work with the grandmothers of the sacred spiral, right? So that would have meaning for me, right? So whatever has meaning spiritually for you, then that's another good embellishment, all right? And now after you put the meaningful embellishments and keep it to one or two, you know, like the more the more you put, the more the the logical mind tries to interfere and starts you know blah 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 it's shot because it's not quiet and you need balance harmony and, and stillness and silence you know so if it, there needs to be harmony and you're going to see that with your eyes and trust your eyes and your heart you know if you feel this ah beautiful harmony like everything is one thing you're good to go if you start going Oh, this is like a lot you know like uh, then then don't don't panic just get your gesso and start pushing back pushing back pushing back your anything that is too up front that competes with the star okay and now put the blink put the blink now remember I have this I have these gems these gems in the eyes of the rays yeah, they're stickers but you can also take any flat any gem that is flat on the back you know and put them but you want light gems 
So that's why I use stickers. All right. Uh, so that's what I did. And then I put the, the, the spark. And, you know, as always, I forgot the name of this spark thing. So um, I'm going to put it below with a link to Amazon so that you can purchase it if you don't have the sparks. And I also use some, I think I use some gold here. So gold, gold acrylic, uh, gold, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a Posca pen or acrylic marker, you know, like you can also use gold. All right. So that's it. And then after the blink comes the framing. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the framing now. All right. So what can you do? You can use any frame that you buy in stores, in an online, whatever, you know, common frame that is 12 by 12. That is for art, that is 12 by 12. They usually are a little, you know, a little so that usually it's a little bit less so that it fits here but it says that the frame should say for art or for pictures 12 by 12 right if you want to to include everything you know i love the frame i love the collage and the frame because i love texture and collage so for me i don't want you know i want the whole shebang because it's part of the magic for me right so if that's your that's your um, preference then go for that right um, so you take a frame that is for art that is 12 by 12 but if you want to concentrate in the star if you're not using embellishments on the side and you really want to be able to concentrate in them in this in the star and what it says because sometimes you really need to focus and you, some people get easily distracted, right? So if, if you know this and you want to concentrate, then you can buy a frame that has a mat or a mat, separate mat. Now this mat that I have is two inches wide and it's for eight by eight. So it's for art or pictures that are eight by eight, you see? And so it's perfect for the start because that's, that's the exact side of the inner square. If you if you kept the the, the 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 measurements I gave you, the original measurements. Otherwise, you shrink proportionally, right? So then, if you do that, get a frame that has a mat that says, for art, 12 by 12, without the mat, and with the mat for, uh, for art, eight by eight, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna see a mat like this, if the mat has two inches, the frame can be used this way, and then you put this and it's eight. And now you have options. You can use it without the mat or you can use it with the mat, all right. The second thing you can do, if you don't want them, the framing, is that you can put it in a small easel or stand. So this is a book stand and you can hang the star here. You may have to put all the stuff there depending on the size, but you know what I'm saying? It's here so then you can look at it this way every day as you pass by, etc. There are small easels. Okay, so this is, um, you can get this in Amazon. This is a small easel that is to stand up art and it looks absolutely gorgeous which of course you cannot see it here like that but it just like looks absolutely gorgeous in this time see what i'm saying looks very professional very beautiful so that's another alternative so another alternative is make a hole here with a punch a hole puncher and hang it you know? hang it another alternative is get a, a strong magnet and put it in, in, the, in the fridge as a magnet 
you may want to cover it with a plastic um, pocket, right? Or do something to protect it because the fridge is used so much. And finally, something else you may want to do if you work a lot in the computer. So this is what you can do. You take your cell phone, bang, you take a photo of your art, then you upload it. I upload it to Google Drive, because that's what I have, but you upload it to whatever you have, right? And then you make it your desktop uh, photo. See what I'm saying? So in the, uh, so you put it static so that every time you turn on the computer, there is your North Star, and then you can do the meditation right there and start working after that. May the North Star guide your steps this year so that you are and you become the shiny essence within you that transmits your soul frequency to the world and may this bring your dreams and your goals that you desire in your heart to fruition in a way that's the best for you mm -hmm. and for the entire circle of life. Blessings. <laughs>